Hello, my name is Uneven Elephant 5, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make um, HUD bitmaps if you fail at Photoshop, like I do. <coughs> so basically, um, what you want to do is um, make a plane the length and width you want your bitmap to be. So let's just say 512 by 256 actually this way. So now we have a plane and then you want to just color it black and move it down and then actually you know it. Hold shift and move it down. And now I'll turn this and color it um, in the red green in the red put 141 in the green put 7 and the blue put 58 you really don't have to do that it's just that's the nice whoops whoops no I'm sorry I gave you the wrong value crap okay we'll just settle for this right now <clears throat> so basically now what we're gonna do is we want to set up our render and you'll want to set the width to 512 and the height to 256 and then just render it just check and basically you want to just zoom in until you reach the edges of this here right and then now when you render your bitmap's going to take up the whole screen and so basically <coughs> you're just going to convert to poly and just we'll just keep this one as the render so we don't, you know, mess anything up. You can just, you know, mess around with the bitmap. Um you know, the only reason I'm doing this is because I kind of have trouble with Photoshop um I'm really horrible at drawing stuff like this. So I saw D's um, tutorial on paths to 3ds Max, and I guess I kind of reversed it. Instead of taking a bitmap from Photoshop and putting it in Max, I took some polys from Max and put them into a bitmap. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go too much into this thing. I mean, I'm sure you can just um, I'm sure you can figure out some basic you know the basic shape that you want a basic shape of the thing you know So yeah, then you just want to render and you'll have your bitmap and just save it in like data, HUD, I'm just going to save it to the desktop as test.tiff and keep it at 8 bit color and all this stuff, no compression, all that. Then you'll just want to open up Photoshop. <coughs> Okay, and now that it's loaded, 
we're going to go and open our bitmap go to desktop test tiff and open it okay and there it is and now the first thing you want to do or the first thing I do is I make sure the background is completely black otherwise I forget to later on and then I make the other one or the, the blue part I guess completely blue for now so then we can take the blue channel duplicate it as alpha 1 and now you want to take the blue channel and turn this from n n completely white to a darker gray and actually I want to bump the tolerance up to 50 maybe actually how about 80 whoops that seems good okay so basically white is completely tra is completely opaque and black is completely transparent so dark gray is going to be mostly transparent um, so yeah now that we have the alpha set up um, basically what I usually end up doing is um, I turn this blue part here also into a darker gray otherwise I find up that I find that the colors show up really intense in my HUD so now that we have that we can just go ahead and save it and I'm not going to actually compile it, but I'm going to show you how to compile it. And what you want to do is you'll just type in tool, bitmaps, you know, the the directory. So mine, my bitmaps, I put mine in HUD, bitmaps. And you'll just compile it. And then it'll give you an error like this. Warning bitmap with greater than one bit alpha being compressed as DXT1. And you'll just want to, at that point, open up Cornman or Gorilla, and then find your bitmap, and open it up, and go to Format, and click 32-bit color, save it, and then recompile it. And at that point, it should be done, or it should be, it, it should be working. And then you'll want to go into UI, HUD, and then if you want to edit like the shield meter or the health meter or the radar that will be in cyborg.unithud interface and you'll just wait for that to open and yeah then you can just go and edit all the the just all the little things you can edit you know and customize your HUD and so yeah that's my tutorial on making HUD bitmaps if you fail at Photoshop